Overall, with this event, though, man, it, it was so different than what we've had in the past because you had BTB Bonanza, you had Snipe Down versus Lethal, you had Chubby Bunny challenges, you had Caster Rivalries. Oh, there was this like fun, carefree, grassroots approach that we haven't seen before. So, how was this experience for you? And and what do you think this new direction, or what do you think of this new direction for Halo events? Well, I think this is the direction we need to go in. Exactly. Honestly, um, yeah. I I give credit to Gfinity because Gfinity were actually the ones yes. that really started to do this kind of stuff, and we all loved it, right? We had the uh, the gun guessing challenge and um, the, and the the one hot ones with the wings too. Yeah, yeah, and we had to guess the you know what the person would say, and you know like those videos, and they were super fun, um, and you know it was like a really you don't have to make them like all pretty and stuff like that. You just gotta, just gotta just do it right. Like it, it just for the fun of it. So I really enjoy doing that. And I'm glad. And Tashi was like, Hey, you know, this is going to be a different event. We want to let our hair down. We just want to have a good time. Right. Um, and I, I'm all about that. I felt like one of the <laughs> things that halo was really struggling with was everyone always felt like, like, yes, I understand, like, everyone wants to be professional, and, and, and you can sure. be professional, but you can also be professional and have fun. Right. You don't have to wear a suit and tie every single event and, and look like you're about to, you know, serve someone a delicious meal. What I'm saying is, like, you know, we, the Halo community has a lot of personality, has a lot of style as well. Exactly. And I feel like we just got to kind of bring that out a little bit more and have more fun with it. Uh, maybe, and, and we kind of, like, it wasn't like UGC uh classic where like we were all all over the place to be fair <laughs> i yeah. think you know i was wearing sweaters but then like you know i some yeah, people the, were wearing... the dress code was everywhere right? yeah everywhere like while she was wearing ties and stuff and i yeah. told dave to take off the tie because he looked weird and then bravo <laughs> bravo was wearing jerseys every day it was just very and, odd uh, right it was yeah a very yeah. odd event yeah. um so i think that like we this time around we're like okay this is the style that we're gonna go for and we all i think we all kind of like nailed it for the most part besides bravo looking like he was gonna you know steal something um <laughs> oh he has the beard um, now right 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 yeah yeah but he also was wearing like all black and he was wearing like a black bomber and i was like andy uh, are you gonna rob a bank like what do you, <laughs> you you want a baklava like is this Jeez. but yeah but yeah. it was it was great and then i think also too the the side events really helped out with that and, and i think it's like narratives that can continue on like snipe down and lethal literally yes, won a tournament yes. gamers are giving their team name therapy works that's like a <laughs> phenomenal name, right? Yeah. And and it was really good. It, it like they played into it. And I think so long as we as a community continue to just play into the fun and absurdity of it all, let's just keep doing that because it just yep. makes all of us makes our scene look awesome. To yep. be frank, it really does. We can go out there and we could like wear the three piece suits and we could be super professional and talking about the statistics and blah blah blah. And listen, I get it. But we've been talking about Halo for you know, years, decades, a decade now, right? Yeah. Like, you know, it's been a long time that we've been talking about competitive Halo. We all know, like, I, here's here's the truth, right? Uh, I could break down the greatest play of all time, right? Sure. And sure, some people on Beyond will probably like disagree with me and say like, I know nothing, but I could break <laughs> I could break the uh, play down and give you the greatest example on stream, and it'll be incredible, right? Uh -huh. But who's really going to remember that? I'm talking about like when we're in cast or when we're on the analyst desk and we like break down plays. Sure, break down plays. But if you're giving everyone like scientific knowledge 100% of the time yeah. and no fun, people right. are just going to get bored. They're just going to get bored. They're not <laughs> going to be into it. And I think that's one of the Absolutely. advantages that we all as the Halo talent crew, yourself included, Thank have you. in that we all know each other. None of us have egos. We're all just like really chill and we just really enjoy working with one another and it and it bleeds out. It shows on the broadcast. Yep. And I think that's why, you know, in my personal opinion, you know, maybe a little biased, but I think the Halo crew is like one of the best crews in esports. Underrated, to be frank, because yeah. they're like, we understand our scene and our audience very, very well. And we just continue to like, you know, play into that. I think that's what's growing is, is the understanding of what we are as a community. I think at our core, we are grassroots. I, I think Halo really does kind of parallel almost Smash Bros in a way as well. I don't know if you know too much about yeah, the Smash Yeah, I know Bros a lot community, about Smash. Yeah, right, yeah. There's so much. Like the reason why Smash lives is because of Mewtwo King and Mango and Hungrybox. Like the, the personalities, personalities. Exactly. And how do you flesh out personalities? Grassroots events with little side events like BTB, Snipe Down vs. Lethal, Therapy Works, like all this stuff completely yeah. grows personalities. And that's how you build a bigger, broader game with a community that's sticks to it almost regardless of what comes out next like Bro, i know we I, want an amazing halo title but, but we love the community members exactly. and that's why we, we stay strong
it's so cool to go to these events and see people like seeing Maddie at the events or seeing uh, uh, Killing Pink or uh, yeah. Axe Man or I saw Kelly at Gamers yeah. Forgiving. Like seeing these community members who have just been around for such a long time. And just, it's Sandman. Whenever I see him, I'm always happy when I see Sandman, you know, taking pictures and stuff. Like we are family. We are family. We we love our game. Yes, we don't agree on everything. Yes, yeah. we, we, will, we will complain about <laughs> sprint started, yeah. and yeah. D-scope and yeah. BRs versus DMRs versus pistols. And we will we will bitch until the sun goes out, right? Yeah. But at the end of the day, we love our game. And we love our community. I think so long as we continue to have that passion, uh, I think we, we still, Halo will survive. Halo will always survive.